to another episode of Mom Point Three Garage. Today we're going to do a total top review. So we're going to show you how to take it off. A husband and wife, five foot, two bad shoulders. Uh, so we found a way to remove the back without doing it the way that Ford suggests, uh, which worked for us. And then we're also going to do it in real time as well. So you can see how long it takes us to get the top off completely. And then we're going to take it to one of our car washes here locally uh, that has the pressure wash to see if we can get it to leak. Um, and then we're going to talk about the noise because we took it on a small trip and we are up about 75, 85 miles an hour. And we've got a good idea of how much noise the top makes. And by the way, this is one of the new tops. So this is not the old delaminating top. This is a brand new top. Let's go. All right, first we're gonna go into the glove box and there's a tool kit in there. The only tool that you need to remove the hard top is the fit, the Torx 50, which unbolts the back of the hard top off the body. And then the rest of it is all with your hands. So let's go get started. First, we're gonna start on the driver's side and there's a latch here. There's a latch here. There's a latch here. And there's a latch here. So three latches plus one of the big latches right here. And then the hard top will actually come out. Be very careful about this buckle right here. So I'm actually gonna push this up because you will scratch the paint on the top if you touch it. So I'm gonna bring that to there and throw it on my shoulder and we've got that off. And now we're gonna go to the passenger side. Same removal process on the passenger side. We've got one mechanical and three of the sliders. And then we'll lift this one up. Make sure you close this latch and bring this over. Rest it on your shoulder and pull it straight up. Now the center panel has two of the mechanical levers, one on each side and three sliders. And then this whole piece comes off as one piece. One, I've got that one. I come in here to the center. Do the center one. Come over here to the end, open that one, and then flip this mechanical, and then the whole top will remove. I'm actually gonna tilt it up just a little bit and close both levers so that I don't drag them. And then I'm gonna, you, normally you would do this with two people, but if you need to do it with one, there are locator pins right here. You just need to make sure the locator pins are out. And then I'm gonna pick this up Feels like it weighs about 30 pounds. I'm gonna slide it up just a little bit till I get to a balancing point. Just about right there. And then with one person, I'm just gonna lift this off the top. Now for the rear part of the shell, we're gonna take the socket and the Torx 50 bit. Open up the tailgate. On both sides, you have one two, three bolt, three Torx 50 screws on the back of the shell and one Torx 50 screw on the front of the shell. And the same thing on the other side. Then you wanna lower the seat so you can get to this a little bit easier. First, we're gonna bend the headrest down. There's a lever there to flip the seat forward. And then we can get into this back one. Flip the headrest forward, pull on the seat, and then, and one of the coolest features is you've got your window washer right there, the window washer fluid. You've also got your electrical connection to the top. We're gonna hold on to that, pull that. This comes over. It connects right there, and your windshield wiper, windshield washer, connector connects right there. So that's all nice and tight. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's also a T50 on the top of each rear door. All right, so there's 10 total, 10 total T50 screws. And actually for your bolts, you have a couple of these little pockets right here that you can actually zip your bolts into. And then you have those, take the T50, back in this place right there. And then that goes back in the glove box. Now we're gonna take off the top. So we're gonna try this with me lifting and then Mandy's gonna guide it off. Okay, ready, one, two, 
two, three. Don't get off the lift. I'll lift. Here we go. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Now reinstalling it. We're gonna try. We're gonna try me getting up underneath it and lifting it all the way up, and then Mandy's gonna guide it. Let's tip it back just a little bit. Okay, you ready to lift it up? Yep. One, two, three. Okay, hold on to it. All right. are going to be the same in the same order starting from the middle to the front. We have to have a plan. I'm going to take up the driver. I'm going to take the passenger side off. And then we'll both take the middle off and then we will do our little trick to take Together. it off the, yeah, to take off the back. Okay. Ready? All right. One, two, three. was right at five minutes and that was the first time that we had done this in this format and yeah. we we found some efficiency so we think we can get this off in four minutes so we're going to try this again <laughs> probably in a month after we take it off a few more times and we're going to try to actually get under three minutes we're going to get under three minutes for our top and i think we can do it um we just used the tools that ford gave us but if we used a second socket with a second torx 50 uh we could get this off in three minutes with no issue whatsoever. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the top back on and we're gonna take it to the high pressure car wash and see if we can get it to leak. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we are going through the car wash now and we're gonna see if this uh, if this new hard top leaks. Got it. All right, let's see if it leaks between the seams here. So far, so good. Here comes the big roller. All right, the hard top does not leak that I can tell. We're gonna get out and inspect it just to make sure. So we showed you how to take a hard top off also showed you how quick you can take the hard top off without being an expert so we've only done this maybe two times and we were able to do it in under five minutes we think we can do it under three and then we also found out that the top does not leak at all so the pressure car wash that we went through it's a brand new car wash uh, lots of psi and we didn't find a drop in there so pass there and then lastly the noise we are blown away at how quiet that car is so i would say that it is probably as quiet as any car that we've had and it has a significant amount of seams all the way to the back but the rubbers underneath these panels are so thick they're almost double walled so that the water runs through the center which i think makes it so quiet so i don't think we have any issue with this hardtop really happy that we even have the bronco mm -hmm. tips okay we took the top off with the windows up Definitely have them down just in case you yeah. accidentally drop If you them. drop a piece on there and break that window, that's not <laughs> going to be a good deal. Not to yeah. mention it gives you more clearance as well. Right. So that, that is definitely one of the tips. The second tip is that 
if you're going to be doing it with two people, which you likely are, especially with the back, if you have a second T50 Torx bit, which you can get from Lowe's for $3.50, and a second ratchet, you can actually get this off much, much faster, faster than we did. So, uh, but outside of that, it is like a breeze to take it off. It's really not that heavy no, like I thought it'd be. I mean, we have light. Jeeps that are much heavier yeah, than Yeah, the Jeep Bronco. tops are like concrete. Yeah. Uh, this thing is super light. So hopefully it lasts for a long time and we won't have any issues with it. Next is going to be door removal. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to see how yeah. fast we can get the doors off and not drop them or damage them as a team. Yep. And that will be in the next video. And that's a wrap for Mop Author Garage. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos. And if you're ever in Colorado, please look us up. Yeah, we'd love to go wheeling with you. And check our end screen for more videos. <laughs>